Hey, come and join me on a gentle walk through rural Japan. We're going to be following these pleasant trails which were built on the old Shinkaido. Now, the Shinkaido is the oldest road in Japan. It led down from the old capital of Edo, which is now Tokyo, all the way down through here. And back in the days when Nara was the capital of Japan, they used to use this section that we're going to be on to go from Nara down to the market village of Sakurai, where we're going to be following in the footsteps of history. You're also going to be seeing what rural life is like and how it really hasn't changed in the last couple of hundred years. We'll be passing through shrines and temples and emperor's burial mounds, all kinds of cool stuff to see on this walk. So we're going to be starting our walk in a little town called Tenri. And Tenri is based all around the Tenri religion or Tenrikyo. And uh, this is their headquarters behind me. Now, one of the things Tenri is known for is um, they're very strong in Judo. This is where they practice Judo. They have a Judo practice hall here. And also, this is the this religion started off from Shinto, but it's the one Shinto religion that is monotheistic, meaning they just have the one God. Whereas Shinto, you know, we have little gods in every tree and everything. Um, so we're gonna start off through here come past here you can see all these people in, in the black happy coats you can see them all over the place and then we're gonna head up that way in closer to the mountains and follow the trail that's gonna be going along through the farmlands at the base of the mountains beautiful walk so let's go one of the places we'll be passing through is this old shrine it's one of the oldest shrines in Japan believed to have been built uh, somewhere between 18 and 2100 years ago and we got the chickens. Why the chickens? Well, the chickens are free roaming here. You're going to see a whole bunch of them and they're, they're noisy. And they're here because they're messengers of the gods. So the chickens are allowed to roam freely. You won't see them in that many shrines, but basically they are allowed free roam of any shrine. But here you're going to see a whole bunch of them. Now this is this shrine was actually the family shrine of the Mononobe clan back in the early days, early history of Japan. It's got a lot of history here. Uh, pretty cool place to come through. We'll spend a little time just checking out the shrine and the chickens. All right, we're gonna be following the gently winding road through all kinds of beautiful farmland. Here right now, I'm in an orchard. This is an orchard of kaki or persimmons. And since it's autumn, well, they're about ready to eat. Beautiful sight. And you're gonna see all kinds of farmland, other things growing along here as we go along this beautiful old, old trail. Now, part way into our morning, we're gonna stop at this. This is this cool, big old log house. It's not a cabin, it's actually a log house. It's huge. And we can sit on the veranda up here, enjoy a coffee, and they give you these little cookies, like reindeer cookies. They're mm, just made to go with coffee. And you're gonna sit here looking out across the Nara Valley. It's just a beautiful view up here, a beautiful spot to just kick back, relax for a bit. Enjoy a coffee or other beverage of your choice. We'll be passing through small rural villages like this one so you can really see a way of life that hasn't changed that much in the last couple of hundred years. This here, little pond, well, a lot of these ponds hold water for irrigating rice fields. And actually this one here, well, there's a little surprise swimming around inside this pond when you get here. Included in your tour is entry into this temple grounds. Just a beautiful spot. Come here, enjoy this up on a little bit of a hillside. It's a fantastic temple grounds. We'll wander around here. Now, when they're open, well, sometimes we can eat a lunch here of somen. Other times, if that's not available, don't worry, got you covered. We're gonna have Kuma's Kitchen picnic lunch and there's some great places where we can stop and have that picnic lunch. So either way, there's gonna be a fantastic lunch and you're gonna visit this wonderful temple on the hillside. Now, on the days that we're gonna enjoy a delicious picnic from Kuma's Kitchen, we're gonna do so at my favorite picnic spot, which is sitting right here overlooking the Kofun or the burial mound of the Emperor Shujin. Now, the Emperor Shujin is a long, long time ago. The exact date of his rule was 148 to 29 BC. So a little over 2100 years ago, this Kofun. It's a huge burial mound. I'll also go over with you why they're shaped the way they are. One of the cool things on this walk is that everywhere along the way there are these little stands full of produce, local produce. So all you do is pick something. For example, I'm going to get 
these. These are going to taste good tonight. And just on the honor system, you put a 100 yen into the coin box. Take this home. All kinds of things you'll find here. Every stand has got a little something different. So look forward to checking those out as we go along. Now as we're nearing the end of our walk through the Japanese countryside, we're going to come out to this massive shrine here. And this is kind of cool. This place is inside a sacred forest of cedar trees. And there's a reason for that, as you'll see in a minute. You see, this place is revered by sake brewers. And they come from all over Japan here to make sure that they're going to have a good brew. And what about the cedar trees? Well, when we get to the bottom of the hill, you're going to see why the cedar trees are important for that. Now, when you get here, one of the things you're going to find is eggs. And that's a mystery. And I want you to figure that out when we get here. Why are there eggs here? All right, we're ending off our walk here at this little sake brewery here. This is the oldest existing sake brewery in Japan. It's been running here continuously since the Edo period. And look at this up here. Remember I told you back when we were at that shrine, I said that uh, well, it has something to do with the cedar trees over there and sake? Well, that is a sugidama or a cedar ball. And it's made from branches from that mountain. So it's very special and you'll find these hanging in front of any brewery. And that's a sign that this is a sake brewery. So come here, we're gonna enjoy wrapping up our walk by checking out some sake. Okay, now come join me on a wonderful walk in the Japanese countryside on an ancient road past ancient shrines, ancient temples, ancient emperor's burial mounds. It's something you'll always remember. It's a fantastic experience. So go down below, click that button underneath this video. It's going to take you through to more details and you can book your walk in the Japanese countryside.